Today, Fast Forward is visiting the fabulous Fox Theater in Atlanta, and we are thrilled about seeing our name on the famous marquee out front. Yep, any second now. Nice. But is uh, anyone buying this? Let's just get to the episode. Fast Forward is taking the stage, literally. We're standing on hallowed ground, the stage of Atlanta's fabulous Fox Theater. And because the Fox is one of the premier theaters in the country, let's learn a little more about it in something I like to call the Fox Theater in three acts. But first, let's meet our cast. Welcome to the Fox Theater. I'm Molly Fortune, and I am the director of restoration for this fabulous landmark. I'm the director of operations at the Fox Theater. I'm the production manager. What we do here is, in production is we advance shows, basically talking to the show and coordinating what they need from us and what we need to know from them. I am a maintenance technician here at the Fox Theater. I'm just here to make sure our patrons enjoy their experience here at the Fox Theater. Great start. Now, let's get to act one. Wherein we learn what makes the Fox Theater so fabulous. What makes us fabulous? Me, of course. But seriously, folks. I think it's a lot of different things. I think it's the guests that come in and their excitement and their passion for the building. The variety of shows that come in here. We have everything. We have comedians. We have rock shows. We have Broadway shows. We have ballet. Um, we basically have it all. And just the history behind this place is just amazing. I can tell. So let's hear a little more about that history. The Fox Theater opened Christmas Day of 1929. We had a line that was wrapped around from the marquee all the way down the side of the buildings. When we first started, it was a, a full service house. Uh, it had Broadway shows. Then it slowly moved and evolved into a movie house for many years until the to late 60s. But then, as in most downtown areas, everybody wanted to be in the suburbs. So the theater went through a serious decline. And that's when, in the 70s, that the Save the Fox campaign began. From that point on now, we've been a, a viable, very busy theater that's full service, doing everything from Broadway shows to concerts to corporate events. So we're, we're wide open. And let's keep this show moving right along with Act Two. Where in old meets new. Because of the Fox Theater's rich history, they can't just modernize the way other buildings can. When we get ready to, to make a modification or have to do something to the building, our first concern is how do we maintain the original piece or the original portion of the building. And their air conditioning system is a great example. So let's start with a basic understanding of how air conditioning works. Yep, time for another one of those teachable moments. But this one's cool. Get it? Air conditioning. Cool. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Anyhow, air conditioners use metal coils that are cooled off by pumping something called a refrigerant. Unlike water, it evaporates at a really low temperature. So as it goes through the coils, it's evaporating and cooling them. Air is blown over the coils, cooling that air, and in turn, a building. Outside the building, a compressor helps turn the refrigerant back into a liquid, blowing heat off of it. And then the whole process begins again. And this is the AC unit at the Fox. I know, pretty impressive, right? I'll let our cast take it from here. The HVAC system, state of the art at the time in 1929. The way I understand it, uh, we had the first one in, in the Atlanta area, and then the White House unit was installed at a later date. And then in 1946, uh, the Carrier Corporation uh, came and installed a new centrifugal type chiller, which is basically is still in use uh, today. And about three years ago, we have installed a new chiller. So we actually have two chillers now with the capabilities of running both if we needed to. Uh, we added a lot of new accessories. So we have a, a mixture of old and new technology sitting side by side. And most everything that we add to the system now, we tie into the, to the computer system. And while old is meeting new, there's something else I want you to see. Remember that marquee that <clears throat> had our name on it? We have a mixture of the old and the new technology on our marquee. That's because when the Fox Theater was built, it used incandescent lighting, which uses resistance to create enough heat on a filament to make it glow, creating light. But now the marquee uses a combination of incandescent lights and LED lighting. LED stands for light emitting diodes and LED lights don't use resistance. Instead, they use the flow of electrons between semiconductors, like silicon or germanium. 
A semiconductor is a material current can easily flow through in one direction. The byproduct of this flow is photons, which are essentially the light we see. LED lights are more expensive than incandescent lights, but they're also more efficient, so they burn cooler and save money. Okay, that's a good first couple of acts, but let's get to act three. Wherein we learn what types of jobs places like the Fox have and how you can get them. Molly? There's 72 employees and we have accounting, we have group sales, we have operations, we have restoration, we have production, security, events, private events, and ticketing. Internships are really the key, working for a variety of theater companies. Also a background in technical theater so that you know um, a little bit about everything, a little bit about lighting, a little bit about scenery, um, rigging, sound, props, costumes, makeup, all of those details. And where do I start? Very small theaters to Disney and um, shows in Vegas. You have Broadway, you have Off-Broadway, you have uh, what's called summer stock, which are the summer theaters. There's a lot of places to get experience. Wow, that episode of Fast Forward was packed. We didn't even have time for an intermission. I'll let our cast help bring down the final curtain as only true thespians can. And we'll see you on our next episode of Fast Forward. And, and scene. scene. Is that it?